there might possibly be multiple universes out there. In fact, in the future, we might harness the skill of universe jumping. Who knows? But this can be used to explain deja vu and the Mandela effect. In one universe, you may have experienced something already, but in your current universe, it hasn't happened yet. Hence, the deja vu feeling. Or there can be subtle differences throughout the different universes. For example, I am positive that the children's book was always the Berenstain Bears. But no, apparently it's always been the Berenstain Bears. I know that's not right. I definitely switched universes. Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm bringing you the Top 10 Scary Parallel Universe Stories on Reddit, Part 2. And if you haven't seen Part 1, then make sure to check out that video as well for more creepy stories. Starting off this countdown, we have the dreams. Posted by the user Lost Within Myself, they believe that when they sleep, they travel to a parallel universe. To save the confusion, she calls them Universe A and Universe B, Universe B being the parallel universe. So in Universe A, our current universe, she is a 30 year old female with dark brown hair and green eyes. She was adopted when she was little and is an only child. She has been married for seven years and she has a little baby boy. But in Universe B, a lot of things are different. For starters, she has purple dyed hair instead of brown hair, she was never adopted, and she is the youngest of five children. She has a different husband and they have no children. Freaky, right? But keep in mind, she only goes to Universe B when she's sleeping. You could say, maybe she just has wild dreams. But one time in Universe B, she was smacked across the face by her husband. And when she woke up in Universe A, she had a throbbing red mark across her face. Moving on at number 9, we have the lost friend. Posted on Reddit by Gata Yeet, she is part of a friend group of 5. But recently, one of the friends in the group felt like someone was missing. She felt like they were always a friend group of 6. But she can't figure out who it is that's missing. So it's believed that that friend switched universes and is now in one where she has a group of 5 friends instead of 6. In our 8th spot, we have the different dog. So each universe is slightly different. Some buildings might disappear, maybe you live on a different street, or you're taller, or people around you behave a bit differently. Well, for the user Mr. Stuffed Baconator, he is now living in a universe where his uncle's dog is completely different. So a couple of years ago, he went back to Brazil to visit his uncle's dog for the first time. The dog's name is Sebastian, and he is a white Samoyed. Then just last year, he went back to Brazil, and his uncle's dog is now a huge Labrador. Still named Sebastian though, just a completely different breed. He asked his aunt and uncle what happened to their old dog, but obviously they had no clue what they were talking about. That was the only dog they ever had. In our seventh spot, we have the swap. This next Reddit user keeps switching between universes. He notices that every day something changes. For example, items in his room keep disappearing, his shower head turned from gray to black, and street signs keep changing around him. One day the street sign will be brand new. The next day it will be rusty, covered in vines. This has led him to believe that every day he wakes up in a new universe. One that is slightly different. Honestly, that would drive me insane. But hey, if I ever lose an object, I now know it's because I'm in a different universe. One where I never owned that object to begin with. Making our way down the list at number 6, we have the new items. Reddit user Blood of Loki shared a story about the time he was recovering in the hospital after a near death experience. When he was finally well enough to go home, the hospital gave him the items he had come to the hospital with. These items were a green coat and a hat, but he has no memory of owning these items in the first place. But inside of the jacket was his personal items, so it's not like the hospital just gave him the wrong stuff. So he believes that sometime during his hospital stay, he switched to a different universe. One where he entered the hospital with that coat and hat. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the changes. Like I mentioned before, it would drive me insane if I woke up and things around me just changed. 
Well, this is what happened to the Reddit user Drizzle. So one night he went to bed on his white and black bed sheets. But when he woke up the next morning, his sheets were black and red. He also found that his laptop was covered in stickers, although he always thought putting stickers on electronics was stupid since it ruins the look of them. But there he was, different sheets and a different laptop. He asked his mom about the sheets, seeing if she somehow changed them, but she had no clue what he was talking about. Also, the night before, he got into a fight with his family and he woke up expecting that they would still be mad at him. But they weren't at all. It's like the fight never happened. So he believes that overnight he traveled to another universe. Meaning that his other self got sent to the universe where his family is mad at him. Like imagine waking up and not knowing why everyone is upset with you. That would just add more fuel to the fire. Like the parents would be like, Oh, stop pretending like you don't know. <laughs> yeah, yikes, I bet that was a rough morning for that version of himself. In our fourth spot, we have the wives. This next story is pretty eerie, but also really cool. So posted by the Reddit user AJNox09, he shared the time he swapped places with his other self. So first, it's important to note that his wife-to-be passed away when he was 20. Down the line, he got married to another woman who he's been with for 20 years and they have two daughters together. So one day they were all at a restaurant when all of a sudden he became very dizzy. He even grabbed the table to brace himself. When he turned to look at his wife, he saw that it wasn't his current wife. No, in her place was his 20-year-old wife-to-be and their daughter who looked just like her. Then he was overcome with the dizzy sensation again, and when it stopped, he was back with his current wife. Which means that in another reality, his wife-to-be never passed away, and they went on to have a life together. Which also means he's technically married to two different women at the same time. Like, is that considered cheating if your other self has a different partner? In our third spot, we have Nair. Reddit user Gange underscore 316 claims that he is from a parallel universe where Earth is called Nair. Yep, he said that back on Nair, people started disappearing all over the world without a trace. Then one day, he did too, and he showed up on Earth. He then reached out over Reddit to see if anyone else on there was from Nair as well. Apparently, a lot of things are different back on Nair. His planet is smaller, they have different countries, and they don't eat animals. Now he just wants to find a way to get back home. In our second spot, we have the drowning. Reddit user Lunatic McGee remembers the time where he almost drowned while going on a hike with his family. So while on the hike, there was a stream with a very powerful current. He decided to go near the water, but the rocks were wet, so he slipped into the water, and he was quickly pushed down the stream. Now, he remembers getting a hold of a rock and holding on for as long as he could before being dragged underwater. But then he also remembers his dad grabbing him and pulling him out of the water. So he remembers two different outcomes, meaning in one universe he drowned, and in the other he survived. And in our number one spot we have the death. So there's a theory out there that we can live on infinitely. One of ourselves in one universe may die, but in another universe they live on. I'll explain that more in a second. So Reddit user Pinobino posted the story seven months ago. He said that he was driving to his office when all of a sudden a car came up behind him and he was overcome with an intense feeling of fear, as if that car was going to hit him. Suddenly he felt an intense jolt through his body, but nothing even happened, the car didn't even hit him. He continued driving on, but he felt an excruciating pain up his neck, and he felt extremely dizzy and sick. On top of that, he could smell and taste gasoline. He even had visions of his family receiving news that he had died in a car crash. But that never happened. So he believes that in one universe, he died in a fatal car crash. But in this universe, the crash didn't even happen. And that's all for today's video. Make sure to give this video a like and comment below if you want to hear more scary parallel universe stories. And now let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments for my video, top 10 scary parallel universe stories on Reddit, the first part. Gurramat Warish commented, the hardest thing is to get a shout out by Lindsay. Maybe it's my lucky day. Hey, it's not that hard. You just got to comment on every single video that I'm in. I'm telling you, I'm constantly in the comment section creeping so comment something I'll probably see it James T Fox commented 
I one time went to another dimension where there was no most amazing top 10. <gasps> yeah, I was literally gonna ask, like, what if I'm in another dimension on YouTube? That'd be pretty cool. Comment down below if you're from another dimension. Now all the comments are gonna be like, yeah, I'm from another dimension. Mm. Alphonsus Dumadag commented, I've been waiting ever since. Ever since what? Ever since you got to this universe from a different universe? <gasps> Alphonsus, where are you from? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But really, you've been waiting for what? Ever since what? And that's all the comments I'm shouting out for today's video. Make sure to comment something down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see ya when I see ya. Top 10 scary peril. Ooh. Got something in my eye. Oh. Oh, I'll power through it. Just one blank. No, okay. The dog's name is Sebastian, and he is a white. I hate that name. Samoyed. No, it. Some. Samoyed. That's what it is. Samoyed. They shared the times. <laughs> time. And in our number one. No. And in our number one. <laughs>